I'm Emma Gillikin, and this is the Meet the Pride podcast, where we ask questions of the students and faculty of Leesville Elementary School. Are you ready to roar? Our guest today is Miss Hernandez. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Emma. Okay. You ready for me to ask you some questions? I don't know. Are they going to be hard questions? I don't know. Some people say they're hard. Some people are like, I know it. (laughs) Okay. Well, I guess it's fair. I ask you lots of questions every day. I think it's fair that you can ask me some. Okay. When you were in school, what was your favorite subject? I would say reading was definitely my favorite subject. I've always enjoyed reading books, especially chapter books. I'm a chapter book girl too. I know. Okay, so if you were a kid in Leesville again, what grade would you go back to? Hmm, that's a really good question. I think I would go back to kindergarten. You know why? Why? Nap time. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I would like to take a nap almost every afternoon, so kindergarten would be the place for me. (laughs) I am not a nap person. I know. My kids were never nap people either, but the older you get, the more you appreciate a good nap. Actually, even when I was a baby. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, my kids, same way. I hated when my parents put me to sleep. I was like, no! Yep. My kids used to have quiet time, and I'd let them read books and things. They would never nap, but they had to have quiet time in their bedroom. (laughs) One of my little sisters still has it. Yeah. It's good to take a break. Okay. My next question is... What is, well, what was your favorite special in in your school when you were a kid? I used to love music. When I was in third grade, I tried learning the violin. I was really bad at it. Now, my daughter, Elena, she played violin all the way through middle school and high school at Leesville, and she's really good at it, but I was terrible But I still loved music. I think I liked music class in elementary school because my best friend's mother was our music teacher. So it was kind of like, almost like having my mom in there. You know, it was fun. (laughs) That's, that's pretty special. Yeah. Okay. Um, How long have you been teaching at Leesville? Well, that's kind of a trick question. So I've worked at Leesville combined over 10 years, but I started working at Leesville as a instructional assistant a long time ago when my kids were in school here. And then I, so I think I was a teacher assistant, instructional assistant about six years. And then I left and I went back to school and I got my graduate degree from NC State so that I could be a teacher. So then I came back and um, luckily Mr. Cohen hired me as a third grade teacher. So I think I've been teaching third grade at Leesville. This will be my sixth year. So altogether, I think I've worked at Leesville about 12 years altogether. Ooh. Longer than you've been alive. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so um one question that really got me when you were talking about that is um what grades did you work for before you worked in third grade? Oh, that's a good question, Emma. When I was an instructional assistant, I worked mostly with first grade. And I always thought I would wanna teach first graders. Um, But then after I went to college, I had to do my student teaching before you can become a teacher. And I happened to be placed at Leesville, thank goodness, in a third grade classroom. And I really loved that grade 
more than the first graders because you know third graders can do so much more and they're a little more mature yes a lot more mature <laughs> and you can tie your own shoes for the most part and things like that put on your own band-aids I did teach um, fourth grade briefly last year when I moved back from the beach um, for a little while I taught fourth grade but third grade is definitely my favorite uh, grade to teach because like you're in reading, sometimes you're reading like chapter books and like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and third graders are already already know how to read. And yeah, so I don't have to teach them the basics so much. You can get into some deeper, deeper topics, and dig and deeper like, in, into things. And there's fractions, so that's always fun. Yeah, I think math would after recess and lunch, math would probably be my favorite. You're doing great at math. Yeah, I love how you like make the math like fun also. Good. I'm glad you liked the M&Ms last week. <laughs> I think everyone enjoyed that. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. What is your favorite thing to eat? It doesn't have to be in the Leesville cafeteria. <laughs> my favorite thing to eat probably pizza a lot of people love pizza i think i've met someone that doesn't there's always a few oddballs but i love pizza and you know what my favorite drink is right i don't remember you don't remember i have it every morning coffee coffee <laughs> <laughs> yep that's my favorite if that was a food group, that would be my favorite food group, would be coffee. <laughs> yeah. Or beans. Or I guess beans? that would coffee. <laughs> made from coffee beans, oh. just saying. Okay. All right. I see where you're going with that. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite book? Ooh, my favorite book. Mmm. I kind of like the the ones from, I remember reading a lot of little kids books when my kids were little, and those are like my favorite, those picture books. And I think my favorite picture book is Good Night Moon. I also love that one, um, I'll Love You Forever. I can't think of the title of it. I'll Love You Forever, I'll Like You For Always. Do you know that that book? It's so sweet. So my, my favorite books are mostly um, like little kid books, just because they bring back really good memories of from when my little, my kids were little. It makes me sad to think about the late past. Really? It makes you sad. Early past. The recent past, maybe. It, um, it, it no, wasn't I that long ago that you were little reading those, probably those same books. Not too long ago, about like... <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, like three years ago. Maybe. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Okay, what is your favorite sport? I love basketball. I actually used to play basketball when I was in middle school, which it was surprises people because I'm fairly short for a grown-up. <laughs> I, I played basketball. My dad taught me when I was little, and I love watching basketball now. You know, I love UNC. <sighs> A little sad because they just lost yesterday in the first round of the NCAA tournament, but it's okay. Not every year is stellar with UNC, but I do. My dad them. went to UNC. Oh, really? Yeah, my I dad grew, went. I didn't go there, but I grew up there, so it's it's special for me. And then my mom went to ECU. Oh, nice. My brother went there. And so did Miss Jones. Miss Jones, and you know, um, Abby in our class, her mother, Miss Alba Costa, also went to ECU. And so did her dad, I think she told I, me. Probably. Yeah, it's a very popular university. What is a fact most people do not know about you? What is a fact most people, let's see. This is going back to Leesville and how many years I worked there. And Mr. Cohen likes to bring this up and tell people this fun fact about me. I have been hired four different times to work at Leesville Elementary. I actually worked under all three 
principals. So Leesville Elementary has only had three principals, Mr. Cohen's the third, and I've worked under all three principals. But I've been hired four separate times because I kept going and coming back and going and coming back. And I just moved to the beach a couple years ago and then came back. And luckily, Mr. Cohen hired me back. So it's an interesting fact. Most people haven't been hired the same place four different times. Well, probably because you're a good teacher. And I just love Leesville. There's nowhere like Leesville. So I always feel like home and I always want to come back there. I think I'll stay here forever, though. <laughs> I'm done moving. <laughs> okay um is there um anything else you want to talk about i don't think so do you have any other questions for me yes um okay um who else do you think i should interview hmm maybe some of the other third grade teachers Maybe the ones that are in remote academy, you know, virtual academy that the kids don't get to see at school. There's Miss Eller, Miss Garvey, and Miss Bovey. They might be good ideas because they're teachers that have worked at Leesville for a while, but you don't see them every day because, because they're teaching virtually. They're teaching the kids that are learning at home. Okay, well. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for being on the Meet the Pride podcast. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me on, Emma. And thanks for listening, everyone. I'm Emma Gillikin, and we'll see you next time on Meet the Pride.